Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Fate Samurai Remnant game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart to launch the game. Still you're unable to launch, then the next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. So if you have multiple monitors set up, then disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor and then check. Next step is to try launching the game with controller connected. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you have to connect the controller before you launch the game. So connect the controller and if you have Bluetooth, just connect it wirelessly. If you have a wired connection, you can connect the USB cable. So connect the controller and then launch the game and that should work. Now the next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. So on the top right here, you can see big picture mode icon. Now you have to launch Steam in big picture mode with controller connected and then launch the game. So first of all, make sure that you connect the controller and then go to big picture mode. Now, once you're in big picture mode, you can click on the game and then launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to turn off anti-aliasing in NVIDIA control panel. So make a right click on the desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel. Now go to manage 3D settings and then go to program settings. Now click on add and if you see the game in the list, you have to select the game. So you can find the game in the list. So here it is. So select the game and then click on add selected program. If you don't find the game, you can go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files, x86, steam folder, and then open the steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here, you will find the game folder. In my, in my case, it's in B drive. So open the steam, steam apps, common, and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, now click on open. Now, once the game is added over here, select high performance nvidia processor now over here you can see and anti-aliasing you have to turn this off this also off this also off and then this one so yes So in this case, the anti-aliasing settings, uh, actually there is no option over here. So we cannot turn this off. So over here, turn this off. So turn off anti-aliasing, especially the anti-aliasing mode one, you have to turn it off and it will automatically will be here. You can see it's here. Yeah. Settings we cannot do but we can for analyzing mode turn it off and then once this is off now click on apply and then launch the game now the next step is to install vp9 video extension now for this open microsoft store on your computer Okay, and then in the search box, type in VP9 video and click on VP9 video extensions. And then you have to install this. In my case, this is already installed. If it is not installed, install it. And then after the installation, launch the game. Now, the next step is to also try installing K-like codec pack. Uh, so for this, you can go to Google and in Google, you can search for K-like codec pack download it install it and then restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to change windows resolution screen resolution so for this you can open windows settings and then go to system and then go to display 
now over here you can try the recommended one or you can even uh, try to change the resolution and launch the game and then check now the next step is to disable steam cloud make a right click on the game select properties and turn off the option which says steam cloud also turn off steam overlay turn this off and then launch the game and then check next step is to close google drive or one drive now on the bo bottom right on the taskbar you can make a right click on nvidia sorry the one drive one drive icon and then click on quit one drive close one drive and when when you launch the game make sure one drive or google drive or any kind of cloud save app is not open next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have like any antivirus program like avast norton bit defender mcafee trend micro komodo whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security in that case open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security in windows 10 you will see update and security option in windows 11 click on privacy security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down at the end you will see Ma manage ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open now once the game is added over here once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings in the top and then click on allow another app. Now click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, now click on open once the, it is added over here now click on add in my case it's already added so once you add it now click on ok on the bottom in my case here you can see it's already added now click on ok now launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game and then click on run as administrator and then check you can even make a right click over here go to properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok still you are facing the problem then make a right click once again select properties and then this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 from the list then click on apply click on ok still you are facing the problem this time again go to properties and this time select windows 7 over here and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from the game installation folder still you are facing the problem then you can uncheck both the boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver now this is very important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's geforce select the right series and then select the right graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and once you select your graphic card then select windows so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search now scroll down and the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 537.42 
So click on download, get download, and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen, click on agree and continue, and then put a check on the box which says custom, and then click on next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on this box and then click on next and let the installation complete. First of all, it will uninstall the previous uh, driver and then it will reinstall the latest driver. So once the clean installation is done, you can restart your computer. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse over here and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, now click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance and then click on save. And now launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game file. Now this is important. Make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Next step is to delete the save game file. Now, before you delete the save game file, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. So you have to start everything from scratch. To delete the save game file, open File Explorer, go to Documents over here, and then open this folder. Now open over here, you can see Fade Samurai Remnant. Make a right click and then click on Delete. Once this is deleted, now launch the game. Next step is to Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. So if you have any additional controller disconnected, disconnect all additional USB adapter connected to the computer. So disconnect all the external devices which you are not using, disconnect it. Also disable Steam overlay, which we have already done. Also close all overlay applications. So if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner or Revert Tuner running, make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, if you have these services running in Task Manager or any third party application running, you can close all the third party applications. Make sure only the game and the Steam is running. Rest close everything, including all your browsers over here. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Also, perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now, go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services, then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So. Put a check over here first and then click on disable all, then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 
into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game switch to window mode switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings so if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower it down turn off v-sync and then uh, lower down graphic settings like if video settings are set to ultra you can select high medium or low quality so lower down graphic settings if you are able to launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and then download x64 download both x86 and x64 and you have to run both the exe file so click on x86 first or x64 whichever you want and then if you see the install option click on install if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow run the second file as well again if you see the install option click on install if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete and then restart the computer now once this is done you will see a restart option like this make sure that you restart your computer i am not restarting but make sure that you restart your computer after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is very important so go to windows update or updated security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here now restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update the system bios now for this go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available and then download and install the latest bios now if you have a laptop in case of laptop make sure battery only computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer and then update the system bios during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when, when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, you can launch the game. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer and then reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD, then try installing the game to um, SSD. And if we have installed the game to external drive, which is HDD, then if the C drive is SSD, try installing the game to C drive, which is SSD, and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.